Nice. And uh, there is another live look at Launch Complex 39A, and we have had the opportunity to share with you a lot about the SpaceX Crew Dragon sitting on top of Falcon 9, a lot about the crew themselves, and the significance of today as the official return, we hope, of human launch capability to American shores. But we would be remiss if we did not explain why this pad, 39A, is hallowed ground. We're go, same time, we're go. Many of NASA's storied missions began their daring journey from the exact same spot on Earth. Launch Complex 39A at the Kennedy Space Center. This massive structure of steel and concrete has cradled rockets and guided each on their fiery ascent to space for over 50 years. There can be no launch without a launch pad, and this hallowed ground has a history greater than any other. Having evolved and been reshaped for each new era of space flight, it's alive with a heartbeat as strong as the first. Launchpad 39A came to life under the direction of project engineer Harry May as NASA ramped up its efforts to achieve an unprecedented calling. Why some say the moon? Why choose this as our goal? And they may well ask, why climb the highest mountain? In 1962, Earth-moving machines sculpted its massive pyramid base to a height of 40 feet. Then, concrete was poured to hold it in place. To launch the world's first moon rocket, engineers cut a flame trench nearly the length of two football fields down the middle of the mound. It was in line with heat-resistant bricks to deflect seven and a half million pounds of earth-rattling thrust, first felt on Apollo 8. Less than a year later, Apollo 11 launched from Pad 39A. And hundreds of millions of people around the world watched as it landed on the moon three days later. Nearly a decade after this Apollo era, 39A again took center stage with a new, one-of-a-kind spacecraft, the Space Shuttle. Millions of pounds of additional steel for service structures transformed the look, but not the purpose, human spaceflight. In all, 82 space shuttles blasted off from 39A, until the very last start. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. All three engines up and burning. 2, 1, 0. And liftoff, the final liftoff of Atlantis. On the shoulders of the space shuttle, America will continue the dream. Roger roll, Atlantis. With the fleet retired, demolition crews removed the shuttle-era hardware to clear the way for NASA's monumental decision to lease this historic launch site to the private company SpaceX. Today, its sleek and modern design supports a family of rockets that has advanced the commercial age of American spaceflight. Now, 50 years after it first sent humans to the moon, this historic spaceport stands ready for the next wave of human exploration.
four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition. Lift off of the Falcon 9 and Crew Dragon. Go NASA. Go SpaceX. Godspeed. Bob and Doug. America has launched. And so rises a new era of American space flight. And with it, the ambitions of a new generation continuing the dream. 20 seconds into flight, stage one propulsion is nominal. Plus 30 seconds into this historic mission. Flying crew on board Dragon and Falcon 9, and look at them go! Falcon power telemetry nominal. Ready for the period of maximum dynamic pressure. We're in the throttle bucket. Reports say all systems are go. Vehicle is supersonic. We've exceeded Mach 1 on the Falcon 9. And one d throttle up. We're throttling Max-Q. back up to full power as we're one through Bravo. Max-Q. Copy, one Bravo. And we heard that one Bravo call out. That's just the second aboard zone that they're in. They'll continue to be on this until the first stage has done its job and they switch over to the second at this point. Bob and Doug pulling about 2.3 Gs, 2.3 times the Earth's gravity, already moving at over 1,500 miles per hour. We've heard the call out for MVAC engine chill. That's getting the MVAC engine ready to light. That'll come at about 2.44 into flight. Right now, everything continuing to look good. Next major event coming up is going to be the triple. We'll have main engine cutoff of the nine first stage engines, stage separation, and then ignition of the second stage engine to continue to carry astronauts into orbit. Coming up in about 20 seconds. M1D throttle down. We heard we're throttling down the Merlin engines on the first stage. And we have Miko. Miko. Two out, 